In this video, we're going to take a look at a pink ink by Platinum, Pink. Now, as always, there's timestamps down below so you can skip around, but if you've got the time, it really does help me out for you to check out the entire video. Also, down in the description is a link to the Pink Ink playlist, so if you wanted to see more, you could find that there. I'm an ink guy, and let's get into the first writing sample done on 90 GSM Clairefontaine. No bleeding, no ghosting. We get no feather, spread, halo sheen. We do get some shading in the stub. We get a little bit of shading into the extra fine and in the medium. The extra fine is a little bit lighter than the stub, quite a bit lighter actually, and the medium's about the same tone as the extra fine. Extra fine took 11 seconds to dry, while the medium took 15. Scrubby for both show no real color variation, although we do get a peppering of dark spots in the writing. And the smear test, I do not think you could recover if you smeared while you were writing. To have a range of experience with this ink, all of the writing samples are done with a Jinhao 159 with a 1.1 stub, a Jinhao X450 with a medium, and a Jinhao X750 with an extra fine. Then a Franklin Kristoff Model 66 with a broad sig nib was inked up, used for a day, and used to take the notes for this video. The next writing sample is done on 52 GSM Tomoe River. No bleeding. No real ghosting. We get no feather, spread, halo sheen, no shading in any of the writing. Now the extra fine's a lot lighter than the stub. Medium is darker than the extra fine, but still a lot lighter than the stub. The extra fine took 14 seconds to dry and the medium took 21. The scrubby for both give us no color variation and there is none in the writing. In the smear test, you could not recover if you smeared while you were writing. I agree with Vita. There's a lot to learn by doing multiple chromatographies. The one on the left is done the way it's supposed to be done. A line of ink is put down and then it's put into water for 10 to 15 seconds. And we see a very true pink. There's no mixing about this at all. In fact, you see that it's moving very slow and bonding while it moves. Now the one on the right that's allowed to dry for 10 minutes, you see that the line at the bottom is a little bit darker and more there, suggesting it might be a little bit more resistant. The rest of it is moving up and fairly evenly until it gathers at the top. Again, suggesting that there might be a little bit of resistance here. The next writing sample is done on 80 GSM Rhodia Dot Pad. No bleeding, no ghosting. We get no feather, spread, halo sheen, no shading for the stub, but a few dark spots occur in the extra fine and a couple of dark spots in the medium. Now, extra fine and medium are the same tone and quite a bit lighter than the stub. Extra fine's 11 seconds to dry and medium's 16. Scrubby of the extra fine shows some color variation while the medium doesn't, but both of them had a little bit within the writing. And the smear test, I do not think you could recover if you smeared while you were writing. Resistance tests are done to see how this ink could be expected to perform on the page, and more importantly, how hard it may be to clean from your pen. This smear is allowed to dry for three days before testing it. Looking at the highlighter, that lowercase h does have quite a bit of blowout, so I would not use it in a note-taking situation if I needed to go back and highlight. Now, water is lifting a lot, and on the bottom edge of that water dot, you see some of the white of the paper coming through. It also took water to get it out of my pen and nothing else. Now, pen flush does everything that water does, nothing more, and the one-third bleach solution, you're not going to need it, but it destroys it. The next writing sample is done on white lines paper. We do get some spots that are coming through. None of these come through and touch the page underneath, which is good news. It may stop you, it may not, but it does stop me from using the back of the page. But this is not fountain pen friendly paper and it's performing incredibly well. We have no feathering, no spread, no halo, no sheen, and no shade. The extra fine's a lot lighter than the stub. The medium's a little bit darker than the stub, still a lot, or a little bit darker than the extra fine, still a lot lighter than the stub. Extra fine took three seconds to dry and medium four. Scrubby for both give us no color variation, none in the writing, and the smear test you could not recover if you smeared while you were writing. 
For the inks tested, the average viscosity is 2.5, with the realm of normal being from 2.1 to 2.9. Platinum's pink has a viscosity of 1.73, so it is a little bit wet. Now, if you're interested in how the viscosity test is done, there's a link to that video down in the description. The next writing sample is done on Strathmore writing paper. No bleeding, no ghosting. We have no feather, spread, halo sheen, no shade, but slight tone variation. The extra finds the lightest tone on the page. The medium's just a little bit darker than that, and the stub is darker than the medium. Extra fine took five seconds to dry while the medium took seven. Scrubby for both give us no color variation and neither did the writing. And the smear test, there's actually a slight chance that you could recover if you smeared while you were writing. For the inks tested, the average dry time was 17 seconds. And the realm of normal was 13 to 21 seconds. Platinum pink has an average dry time of 15 seconds, making it normal. The last writing sample is done on P. Berger paper. This is a student grade French rule paper, so the fact that we get so many spots coming really heavy into the page, none of them coming through the page, but you can't use the back or you'll destroy whatever's written on both sides. Trade off here, okay? Very inexpensively or very cheaply made paper. Now, the stub has tiny feathers but nothing that's that big of a deal. The extra fine, no feathers, same medium, no feathers. No spread, no halo, no sheen, no shading in the writing. The extra fine's the lightest tone, medium's a little bit darker than the extra fine, and stubs darker still than the, than the medium. Extra fine only took a second to dry, medium only two seconds. Scrubby for both give us no color variation, it's not in the writing, and the smear test you could not recover if you smeared while you were writing. Instead of finding inks that look like Platinum's pink, I'd prefer to find an ink that complements its color on the page. I decided to go with a nice blue ink by Krishna, their Writer's Night. If you'd prefer a different complement color, then down in the description are links to those playlists. So what do I think of Platinum's pink? It's a pink that isn't particularly special. I had a little bit of a brain fart while I was writing that. It's very light and bright. It's easy to read on the page, but might make your eyes bleed after a whole page of reading it. So I wouldn't make it my primary ink to write with, but certainly a secondary during note taking. So what nib and pen are going to give the best writing experience with this ink? Well, I don't always choose a pen very specifically for an ink, but in this case I did. That broad sig nib is just a little bit wetter than a medium flow, but not quite a wet pen. And it let it put down a very nice tone all the way through, and I really think I got the best from it that way. So I'm really gonna say a medium flow stub does it well, but medium to slightly wetter and perfect. I hope you got something out of this video, and in the next video, we're going to take a look at Diamine's Night Sky.